Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Vijay, thank you very much for inaugurating the ID Tech Expo. My pleasure. Um, uh, you explained in your uh, um, inaugural address uh, about some of the technologies that has uh, started here in the local Silicon Valley area that has spawned uh, you know, numerous other technologies now. Uh, can you please elaborate on that a little bit for uh, our audience? Yeah, you know, everything that we have today, you know, whether computers or smartphones or tablets, uh, communication networks, all of that comes from that original invention. And it's what you can see in the world today is that society has been transformed. Millions and millions of people have been lifted out of poverty. The world today is a better place 50 years later than it was when this invention first happened. But I think there's so much more optimism, at least that I have, that technology has not just stopped, right? And technology continues to improve and evolve. And this show is a perfect example of that. There's so many new things. And you know, the innovation that comes springs from the human mind is, is endless. And so I think it's, it's a great event. And I'm, I'm really happy to be here at this uh, show. Yes, so glad to have you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Come to the ID Tech X exhibition floor. Uh, so if you could follow me, I'll uh, walk you around the exhibition floor. Uh, so here we have a company called uh, Novacentrix. They have some uh, very, very interesting photocentering equipment, and they are one of our lead sponsors. So we are very excited to have them. Uh, here you can see more uh, printed electronics related uh, companies. We have Tinfilm here, a very famous company. They make uh, printed memory that can go onto everyday objects on the trillion scale. Here you have more uh, 3D printing uh, companies, companies offering screen printing, uh, offering uh, uh, conductive inks, uh, and so on and so forth. Right. So, all that around here? Yeah. And some big machines. So this is a photocentric machine by uh, Novacentrix. And they are one of our lead sponsors. And as I mentioned earlier on, this is a technology that allows you to cure inks very quickly at very, very low temperatures on plastic substance. Uh, so this event is a co-located event. So there are many different technologies all co-located uh, in one place. And we've just seen some of that. More insulating. More And more big machines. All right. So how many exhibits? The uh, demonstration street. Here you can see some samples of some products uh, that uh, some of our people have uh, left on this place. So here you can see a guitar. This guitar is made of a resin that contains uh, some graphene inside of it. And here you can see some uh, wearable electronics in the center of the back, but you can also have different kinds of sounds. So here are some examples of a company called Cathio. So everything is changing. So this is all wearable technology around here. Very exciting stuff, putting electronics on clothing. Uh, you can see some intelligent tennis rackets and intelligent uh, So it just opened like three minutes ago the the ex exhibition area and how many exhibitors are there? I think we have well over 200 exhibitors and something close to 2,700 uh, attendees over the next uh, two days. Alright, so, um, so I'll do a whole bunch of videos getting uh, into each of these exhibitors. And your booth is right here. Combined with a few recycled bottles, you can make a hydroponic system. Very simple, very cheap. The whole thing together will run you about $20. They're printed with threads on the inside, so they screw right onto the end of the bottles. And so this is our booth. We are ID Tech X, we are the organizers of the conference, but we also do custom consulting and we provide market intelligence to our clients. 
Uh, we covered a range of topics and here if you browse around you get more information about some of our topics and you can speak to our analysts. And it just continues over there. There's, uh... So now we are entering into into the uh, energy harvesting zone so now yeah. there's been a transition from uh, 3d printing wearable uh, into energy harvesting so energy harvesting is all about getting energy from the ambient from vibration from temperature differences and so on so maybe we can uh, quickly walk around <laughs> so there's uh, lots of things to check out around here, and uh, it's open for two days. It is open for two days. It's open for two days.